Hello and welcome back to the Houston Texans franchise. Today we're going to be taking on the Chicago Bears. Last time out though, we defeated the Tennessee Titans on Monday Night Football. And we were carried by our defense in that one, which was led by Xavier Howard, who picked off Ryan Tannehill three times on the way to winning his second Defensive Player of the Week award in just three games that he's been here in Houston. Actually, ever since we acquired Howard from the Dolphins, our defense has been a heck of a lot better at picking the ball off, getting 11 interceptions over those three games, when we had just two over our first six before that. And you pair that with the number one rush defense in the NFL, it's a big reason why we are still undefeated, sitting here at 9-0. Now, the Bears are just 2-7, and seven, but despite the bad record, Justin Fields says played pretty well so far this year. He actually has a career-high quarterback rating and a career-high completion percentage. Now, he does still have basically the exact same group of skill position players around him. They did add Jacoby Myers in free agency, and then they went out and drafted Isaiah Golden out of Penn State in the first round. And he has a pretty high overall, but they're not really using him. Only 17 catches so far in his career. He also still has to hand the ball off to David Montgomery, who is averaging 4.6 yards per carry, but the backup Cool Herbert is under 3 yards per carry, so I guess we'll see how their rush offense does look. Uh, unfortunately for us, we have to deal with another injury. Michael Barr is going to be out for this one, but we at least get Chase Young back. He was out last week against the Titans. It is going to be Roman Davis getting that start at that second cornerback spot. The Bears defense is also very similar to what they had at the beginning of this franchise, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I mean, they are starting to regress a little bit there. They're also going to be without one of their corners, Tony Hatchett. He is out with turf toe, so we can look to take advantage of that. We did not have a good game uh, on offense last week against the Titans, so we're hopefully going to have a better day today. We have a couple of upgrades to get through before we can get into the game. Let's start here with Jeff Whitfield, who you could argue has been the best offensive lineman on the team so far this season. Hopefully that upgrade helps him keep playing well. Jacob Mitchell, I think his finesse blocking is fine where it's at for now, so we go ahead and go power with that upgrade. Dalton Kitchen, even though he is in that AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year award race, we're going to go ahead and go blocking with this upgrade. He gets one run block and three run block finesse. Javier Blanton, we're going to try and get that block shutting up a bit more. And will he get it? Yeah, he's going to get three to it. That's great. Roman Davis getting that start at that second cornerback spot. Hopefully he can fill in nicely for Michael Barr. And he's going to get two to his man coverage. But yeah, it's time to get into this game against the Matt Nagy-led Chicago Bears. The Bears will receive the opening kickoff. This is Joel Goldsberry. The rookie quarterback has plenty of room, but he runs into his own blocker and is going to be brought down up at the 38. A lucky break for the Texans. Now the Bears hand it off to Montgomery on their first play of offense, and he picks up two. He is coming off a great game last week, 22 carries, 94 yards, and two scores, but he is facing the number one rush defense in all of the NFL. Third and eight, Fields under pressure. Hit as he let it go. A deep ball is nearly pulled down by Darnell Mooney, but he couldn't quite hang on. So the Bears go three and out and punt it away. Time for Dwight Devine and the Texans offense to take the field. A play action fake on first down. Devine's gonna fire right side, hitting Devontae Adams for a first down and a gain of 16. I'm sure the Bears are happy that Devontae Adams left the Packers and is out of their division, but they have to face him today. As Willis gets a first down up to the 47, and he's going right back to the air, hitting Dalton Kitchen. Rookie tight end is across midfield of the Chicago 46. Willis up the middle on second and four. He's going to get pulled down from behind, but not before he has a first down. And they'll hand it off right back to Willis left side. A missed block, and Willis is going nowhere. Third and nine. Vine surveying the field. He's out of time and strip sacked. The Bears are on it. It's a touchdown saving tackle by Jedrick Wills. The Bears will take over at the Houston 39. I mean, this is just a letdown all around. Devine couldn't hang on to the ball. The offensive line didn't block well, and nobody was open. So the Bears with great starting field position. It's going to be a pass on first down. Darnell Mooney all the way up to the 22. A gain of 17. Second and 10, a play action fake. Fields firing right side. Hits Allen Robinson inside the five. He breaks away from Desmond King and is into the end zone. Putting the Bears on the board. 7-0 in this one. Now let's see if this Texans drive goes any better. Vine, a clean pocket this time, hits Jerry Judy. He turns up field and has a first down. I have no idea why Roquan Smith was one-on-one -on -one with Jerry Judy. That is a mismatch. Now Devine will take off on the right side, get a first down, and headed out of bounds up at the 48, a gain of 14. Second and 10. 
Screen pass left side, Byron Mitchell. Not much space. Picks up maybe two. Third and eight, they'll stick with the empty look. Devon gets it off quickly to Devontae Adams. He's up to the 39, but that's not enough for a first down. Fourth and one, the Texans will go for it. A hands off to Willis, left side. He's bunched up and brought down. It's going to be a turnover on downs, and the Bears will take over at their own 38. Already up 7-0. Second and seven, Montgomery right side, tackled ahead for a gain of seven. Third and inches. Fields is a quick dump off past to Cole Komet for a first down into Houston territory. Now from the Houston 45, Fields underneath hits Darnell Mooney, and he's going to pick up 10 yards. Ezekiel Mills is injured on the play, but it looks like he'll be fine. Fields facing a blitz. As time going over the middle, it's Darnell Mooney again up inside the 20 down at the 19, putting the Bears into the red zone. All day for Fields on this one. Going right side, hits Jacoby Myers inside the 10 and down at the 6. It's going to be goal to go. First and goal. A quick throw left side, nearly intercepted. It's through the hands of Roman Davis into the hands of Allen Robinson. And he has his second touchdown of the day, putting the Bears up 14 to nothing. I mean, you just can't whiff on that one. You got to make a play on the ball. This game off to the start that we all predicted. The 2-7 Bears up two scores over the 9-0 Texans in the first quarter. As Willis makes a catch and has a gain of eight. They're going to give it to Willis again. Now on a counter second and two. He finds room and is all the way up to midfield to the Houston 49. So we begin the second quarter with the Texans driving. Trying to cut into this lead. Devine's going to fire on the move hitting Devontae Adams on the left side. And he's into Chicago territory up to the 28. Divine 7 of 9 to begin the day, but the Texans still have no points on the board as Adams makes another catch and is spun on down up at the 21. Third and one, it's Willis up the middle, powering ahead for a first down up to the 13. Second and nine. Divine with time, but nobody open. He'll spin out left side. Now he's going to take off back inside the 10 and sliding into the end zone, cutting the lead in half, making it 14 to 7. Chicago beginning this drive from their own 25. Fields under pressure. He's going down. That's Chase Young. Bring them down. That does not count as a sack, though. Second and 10. Fields under pressure again. And he hits Chase Young in the helmet. And the ball will fall to the ground incomplete. Now third and 10. Fields has a man open underneath. Instead, he's going to take off and slide down. Short of the first down. So the Bears go three and out. The Texans take over after a punt at their own 24. It's going to be Divine on a read option keeper. He spun out of bounds with a gain of five. Third and three, Fournette getting the carry and getting a first down with a gain of three. Under five minutes to go in this first half. Divine with a clean pocket. He's going downfield. It's Joe Scott. He's in the Chicago territory all the way up to their 40. And now Fournette back in the game. They had Hawkins out there for one play, but he didn't see the ball. It's Jerry Judy with plenty of space on a screen pass up to the 19, putting the Texans into the red zone. He got a great block from Devontae Adams. Now Devine running out of time under pressure. Fires on the move, hitting Hawkins. He's inside the 10, up at the 6, making it goal to go for the Texans. Second and goal. Devine facing a four-man rush, has time. Goes underneath, hitting KJ Hamler, and he's able to roll into the end zone, tying us up at 14 in the first half. So the Bears blow a two-score lead, and they get the lead back, though. They still have plenty of time. As Fields fights Darnell Mooney on the move, and he's got a gain of 20, up to the 45. First and 15 after a false start. They hand it off to Montgomery right side, and he's going nowhere. Actually losing a yard. Second and 16 at the two-minute warning. Fields all day in the pocket, stepping up, and he's going down, sacked by John Williams. And Ross Blacklock back at the 35, bringing up third and long. On third and 21, they just hand it off to Montgomery, and he's going nowhere. And the Texans are going to use the timeout. They want a chance to take the lead before the end of the first half. Third and 10 from their own 25. Devine will find Nico Collins for a first down and more. He gets a great block from Joe Scott and is finally knocked out of bounds all the way up at the Bears 27. So the Texans definitely in field goal range, but maybe they could score a touchdown. A screen pass is not open, so Devine will have to take off. And he gets a first down and is knocked out of bounds up at the nine. It's going to be goal to go. Second and goal. A play action fake, Divine under pressure, and he's going to get sacked back at the 16 by Glass. And with that, the Texans will bring on Lazinski to just kick a field goal and make it 17 to 14, which is going to be our score heading into halftime. Definitely a tale of two quarters 
The Bears controlled the first, the Texans controlled the second. We'll see what happens in the second half. We actually play the Lions next week on Thanksgiving, and they're currently up 17 to seven over the Colts nearing halftime. But for now, let's focus on the Bears in this second half. So far, not much going on early in the third quarter, but a bad punt by the Bears will give the Texans great starting field position up at the Chicago 42. The hands off to Willis left side, breaks a tackle, and is brought down for a short gain, but it'll be called back for holding. First and 20, back at their own 48. Devine will find Joe Scott into Chicago territory again, up to the 45. Second and 12, Devine facing a four-man rush, under pressure, going for Joe Scott again. He can't make the catch, but it'll be a roughing the passer call on Akeem Hicks. So both teams getting called for some penalties early in the third quarter. Second and nine, Devine going right side. He misses Adams. He was wide open. Already under six minutes to go in the third quarter. On third and nine, Devine's going right side for Judy. He drops it. Another mistake by this Texans offense. And they're just going to have to kick a field goal and make it a six-point lead in the third quarter. So the Bears only down one score. Fields going over the middle, hitting Cole Komet. And he's going to pick up 15 yards and a first down. Second and seven. It's Montgomery right side, and he has nowhere to go. Only a gain of three. Third and four, Fields facing a blitz. He's going to dump it off right side to Mooney, and he'll be brought down by Howard a little bit short of the line to gain. And the Bears are going to punt it away again. Second and six from the 36. It's Willis up the middle, and he'll get six yards and a first down. Now another second and six. Vine will swing it out right side for Willis. He's got a first down across midfield and is knocked out of bounds. Up at the Bears, 32. Second and 11. Vine has time. Nobody really open, and he's still going to fit it in there to KJ Hamler for a first down up to the 20. A read option keeper to find left side. No blocking for him. He's still able to get some positive yardage and actually get 10 yards. Second and inches. A play action fake. Vine. Nowhere really to go. Extending out right side. He's got to get rid of it, and he doesn't. It's going to be a sack by Khalil Mack. Back at the 20, a loss of 10. Third and 10. The third quarter winding down. Devine firing over the middle. Hits Devontae Adams, and he gets the first down up at the 8. First and goal to start the fourth quarter. Willis left side has plenty of room to walk into the end zone and put the Texans up to scores early in the fourth quarter. They will go for two to try to make it a 14-point lead. Devine to throw for it. Goes right side. Hits Jerry Judy. So they do go up 28 to 14. We'll see if the Bears have anything on offense. They haven't done much since the first quarter as Montgomery has a first down with his best run of the day. Second at six from the 35. Chase Young is chasing Justin Fields. He chucks it on the move deep down the field and it's caught by Allen Robinson all the way up at the Houston 27. He already has two touchdowns on the day and now a big play. Time to set the Bears up to make it a one score game again as Montgomery loses a yard, bringing up third and two. Fields facing another blitz. He's going to dump it off left side. Jacoby Myers gets the first down and is spun out of bounds at the 13. Now Fields will dump it off right side to Cole Komet inside the five, and he's tackled into the end zone, making it a one-score game again in the fourth quarter. Second and four as the Texans try to go back up two scores. It's Hawkins up the middle, picking up 10 yards and a first down. Third and one from midfield. Here's Willis getting a first down in the Bears' territory to their 45. He has 17 carries for 70 yards so far. Now Dalton Kitchen is going to pick up a first down and go to bounds, stopping the clock, but he is up near the 30. Second and seven over the middle. That's Jerry Judy with a first down, putting the Texans into the red zone. Second and 10. Devine with time is going to the end zone for Adams, and he misses him. Another miscommunication between those two. Third and 10, Devine has time. He's going to go over the middle. It's nearly intercepted, but luckily for the Texans, it falls incomplete, bringing up fourth down, and they can kick a field goal and still go up two scores late in the fourth. The time starting to run out on the Bears as Montgomery picks up five yards on a screen pass. Third and two, a throw right side. It's Cole Komet getting a first down, but he's brought down inbounds taking us to the two-minute warning. The Bears do have all their timeouts remaining. Uh, they're probably going to go hurry up here, I would imagine, down two scores. And they will, second and four. They dump off to Montgomery again. They'll get a first down up to the 48. 
Down to a minute 22 now in this fourth quarter. Fields right side, caught by Darnell Mooney, but they rule him out of bounds. He would get challenged or go to review, and the Bears are actually going to win it. I don't think he caught it in bounds, but the refs said he did. So the Bears have it now up at the 29. It's Cole Komet making a catch and taking it inside the 10 down at the 8. It's going to be goal to go. Under a minute now, a throw to the end zone is nearly intercepted by Ezekiel Mills. But he drops it, so the Bears still have life left. Fields under pressure is going to find Allen Robinson in the end zone for his third touchdown of the game. And the Bears will make it a one-score game in the fourth quarter. The Bears will try for an onside kick, but will not get it as Byron Mitchell recovers it. So the Texans can try to run this one out. But the Bears still have all their timeouts. So the Texans need a first down. Willis on first down as a gain of seven. But the Bears will use their first timeout. Second and two, a toss left side to Willis, and he's going to get dropped in the backfield for a three-yard loss. Third and five, the Bears still have one more timeout. Divine under pressure, hit as he let it go, and it's incomplete, bringing up fourth down. So the Texans are just going to have to kick a field goal. Here is Jimmy Wasinski to make it a six-point lead, and it's drilled. So the Texans have to get one more stop. The Bears score a touchdown and make an extra point. They win the game as Cole Komet as a first down and is brought down inbounds. So the Bears use their last timeout. Down to 15 seconds left. Fields all day in the pocket. A jump ball left side. One on one. Nearly caught by Allen Robinson. But it's broken up at the last second. Second and 10 from their own 30. It looks like Fields is going to go for it all. A jump ball up near the 10 is intercepted. That's Dwayne Crisp coming down with it. So the Texans will hang on and beat the Chicago Bears 34 to 28 to stay unbeaten. While the offense did play better this week than they did last week against the Titans, it was still not a great day for them. Dwight Devine missed a couple of throws. We had some dropped passes. It just really wasn't a great day for us. I mean, I guess the rush attack was fine. Devine contributed 60 there and not a bad day for Willis or Hawkins, really. But yeah, not, not the best day for the offense or really the defense. I mean, look what Justin Fields was able to do against us. And Allen Robinson, 5 for 82 and 3 scores. And he wasn't even the leading receiver. You had Mooney and Cole Komet both go off. I mean, we did at least stop David Montgomery, but they really didn't even try to run the ball against us. At least Ezekiel Mills had a good game, getting 10 tackles in total, with five of them going for a loss. And we keep up the interception streak, even if it was only one today, on that Hail Mary on the last play of the game. Most importantly, though, we get to 10-0 and stay unbeaten and are probably pretty close to locking up a playoff spot. And you start to think about the postseason, there are a lot of good teams in the AFC. The Chiefs, the Bills, the Browns, the Patriots, and even the Jets, they could all knock us out. So one slip up in the postseason, and you're out and the good season's wasted. So the offense has to start playing well. I mean, we just cannot keep doing nothing like they have been. It's just been so mediocre. It's not good enough for the talent we have there. The defense, sure, it's been a lot better since we acquired Howard, but how long can they realistically keep playing well? They're going to have a bad game at some point. So the offense just has to start clicking, and hopefully they can do that against the Lions next week on Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you next time.